what is going on everybody and welcome back to the frames jank vapor channel we are back at you guys for another little build stream today um i've got a couple rtas that i've dug out uh because i haven't used them in a while i've been kind of on the rta kick recently i've been vaping the hell out of this reload 26 which has become uh, easily my favorite rta at the moment but with that being said, I also remembered that I have a couple other RTAs over here that I really enjoyed at one point in time. And I figured, you know what? Why not break them out, throw some fresh builds in there, and uh, just kind of revisit them and see how they hold up. You know what I mean? Uh, so I've got the uh, Rebirth RTA from uh, Mike Vapes and Hell Vape. The focus there. There you go. Got a nice little blizzard chop top on top of there. I'm going to be throwing some, uh, I believe we're going to throw these in here, some... Uh, Triple 27, 36, uh, five wrap, three millimeter Duchess coils. Some uh, nice little Duchess aliens for you guys. We're going to throw those inside of the Rebirth. We've got the uh, Bellato RTA from Davpo and the Vape and Bogan. Got a nice metal AF chop top from DHD on top of there. And inside of this, we're going to use some of these guys. Because I don't think I've ever actually used uh, a set of these coils before. Shoutouts to my man Cloud Cartel UK. Because we've got a set of some Staggered Fuse Claptons. Um, I don't think I've ever really used Staggered Fuse Claptons. Or if I have, it's been quite some time since I've vaped a set. So we're going to go ahead and throw these inside of the uh, Blotto. Because these are a 2.5mm 6 wrap um, Staggered Fuse. is. Uh, 26 gauge and 36 comes out to about a 0.16 is what that's going to come out to which should be pretty nice on top of that and then i've also got this guy the uh big 30 millimeter trilogy rta from vapors cloud um really really enjoyed this rta um the last few times that i used it haven't used it in a while but we're going to rebuild this guy and uh we're going to be throwing some of those le xl aj hollands and we're going to be throwing this bad boy on top of my dagger nice little parallel box and uh we're going to see how that rocks and then of course going to be wicking it all up with my bacon of choice or my cotton of choice i should say i always say bacon of choice because uh cotton bacon prime is where it's at this is the stuff i use all the time pretty much no break in time stuff lasts pretty damn well is uh pretty damn long as well if you uh cycle your cotton which is something that i'm starting to get back in the habit of um a little bit different when it comes to rtas of course but if you're using it in an rda and you cycle your cotton man that stuff will last forever but that's what i got going on there of course as far as liquids go i think for the rebirth i'm going to put in a little bit of shout outs to my man will punk rock silver fox aka still valley vapors uh shout outs to him as well for the six dollars and 66 cents boop boop yeah dude Shout out to you, bro. I'm going to be throwing some of that caramel custard inside of the Rebirth. Uh, inside of the Blotto, I'm going to go with my all-time fave. That Blast Off from the Fountain, which is like a tropical citrus slushy, which tastes pretty damn close to Baja Blast Mountain Dew. And then in the Trilogy, oh, of course, i got to throw some testing grounds in something. going to go with that Strawberry Custard from the overdrip line that sc strawberry custard this stuff is delicious and i'm gonna throw that inside of the trilogy but before we get to any of that i do want to kind of scroll through chat and see what we got going on here shout out some people we got chris early popping in super super early huh, dude i like i see what you did there man first one here and your last name's early I, I like how that works we got pss in chat uh got your weekend started awesome glad you can make it out to the stream hopefully this doesn't go terrible ter terribly terribly wrong but we'll see you know hopefully it's not just a twisted messes promo this time um but uh who else we got in here we got my man lando we got Do dr von braun vapes in the house of course my man poon sauce mcnasty dane b what up dude shout outs to you we got my boy my man sick boy uh, what's going on, sick boy? We got uh, Ricky in the house. Earn, what's up, peeps? Are you guys ready for some building? Um, or installing, I should say. I'm not building any coils. I'm literally just going to install them, wick them, vape them. And I'm not timing myself this time around, guys. Because I actually want these things to vape as they should. Not only that, but I did see that there's a, a question already in chat from uh, Chris Early about how to properly wick the Rebirth RTA. Full disclosure, it has been a while since I have used the Rebirth RTA. 
but we're going to give it a shot and see how uh, we can get it done and see if it holds the liquid and hopefully no leaks. With all that being said, let's see what else we got in here. I have some of those LEs, but don't really use anything that'll fit them. Not sure why I bought them. Oh, really, dude? They are some pretty big coils, bro. But you know what? These should fit inside of the Trilogy pretty damn perfectly. So with that being said, um, let's take a couple vapes real quick. Um, also, uh, have any of you guys tried this yet? This uh, Baja Blast or Baja Punch? It's like a uh, Baja Blast with a Tropical Punch twist to it and this stuff's pretty good man got it over there at uh dollar general i'm very curious to see how these three rtas are going to stack up to this reload man i've been vaping this thing for almost a month straight with that mango from mitch been absolutely loving this and uh honestly i've been kind of finding myself grabbing it more than any of my R R RDAs, man. I just like, I always keep going back to that. I don't know if it's the RTA or if it's the Mango. It's one of the two. I'm not sure, but it, it's one of those. But let's go ahead and jump down low and take a look at what we've got going on here. So let's go ahead and do that now. And oh, hold on, let me see something here real quick. I need to uh, adjust something. So in the meantime, uh, anybody have any plans for the fourth? Anything exciting? Let's see if I can do that a little bit. Ooh, that looks better. Um, there we go. All right, boom. That, that looks a little bit better here. So now when we go back, sorry about that, guys. Let's go and... Boom. Now we are down low. Let's get my mouse out of the way there. So of course we got our three RTAs here. We got all of our tools. Shout outs to Grim for the vape shears. Been really enjoying these things. Got my, you know, coiling rod, ceramic tweezers, nice little screwdriver there. Got my uh, Warlocks Guardian DNA 250C from the Gathering Vapor. This is pretty much what I do all of my builds on because there's nothing uh, more accurate than a DNA chip. So it's just my go-to. And uh, so now is the point where we've got to figure out which one of these we want to build first, guys. So that is going to be up to you out there in chat. I want you guys to uh, throw out which one you want to see first, either the Rebirth, the uh, Blotto, or the Trilogy, and uh, let the voting begin. Um, you rewick the Rebirth? No, I'm going to I'm gonna rebuild all of them. Not, not, um, not, none of these have coils in them right now. I actually took them out cleaned it all out, got them fresh, ready to go for some brand new coils and stuff like that. What's going on, Duchess? Thanks for tuning in, bro. Uh, we're going to be throwing in uh, these uh, 26s, or the 27s inside of the Rebirth here in a second. You know what? Screw it. We're just going to start there, bro. Since you're, you know, you're on your break, might as well just get these bad boys in here. So we're going to start off with the Rebirth RTA. And then uh, we'll see, just keep voting for what one we'll do next. So it'll either be the Blotto or the uh, the Trilogy. You guys vote and uh, we'll pick that next. So we're going to start off here with the Rebirth RTA. So let's get this thing all set up there. Let me get uh, myself all situated here. All right, make sure we got my post holes all opened up. Actually, I need to change bits here. Let's get a little bit bigger of a little bit bigger of a flathead. Oh yeah, much better, much better. There we go. Now, if I remember correctly, there is a there's a coil cutting tool for this. So let me look for this real fast. Aha, this little guy, this little plastic piece here, or there, you guys can see it better. This little guy, 
pretty much just drop your coils in there and cut them and it's to the exact length that they should be so it's almost like a little cheat tool so we're gonna go ahead and drop our first coil in oh I need my snips kind of hard to build without your wire snaps on if I could find them where'd they go well shoot that's not good I'm going to have to use something else I think let me see here I found some snips thank god shout outs to uh papa janklin for always having his tools all nicely organized unlike me there we go drop one in, and we're gonna drop the second one in here. All right, this is one trick that I remember doing on this thing here, guys. So once you get the first one in, just kind of get it in there and just give it a slight pull out of the way. That way, you can drop that second coil in there. There we go, just like so. Of course, they look super janky right now, but don't worry, that will change. Because uh, we're going to do some adjustments as soon as we get these leads screwed down here. Just like so. Got to move my microphone a little bit. Keep punching it because it's in my way. There we go. Get them nice and tight. Now we're going to do some adjustments. Yeah, from what I remember, Grim, I really like this too. From what, I, Like I said, from what I remember, it has been quite some time. And uh, actually, shout outs to my man Overdrip because he's the one who actually kind of gave me the idea to rebuild this because uh, I hadn't vaped it in a while and he just broke his back out so we're gonna pull these up over the airflow um I think I might have cut those leads just a tad bit short that one looks good What do you guys think? Does that look okay to you? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they need to uh, move a little bit more. I've thought about doing something like that in this thing because you could definitely put a big beefy coil in here if you really wanted to.
See, this is the one thing when I, I actually like want the things that I build to uh, vape nicely. It definitely takes a whole lot longer than the, uh, you know, the five minute build off sessions that we do on the green room. That's for damn sure. I think we're going to rock with that, guys, because that's about as good as it's going to get. So we're going to go ahead and uh, give this a nice pinch and pulse. But of course, we got to make sure that we check our resistance here. There we go. And we're going to turn this up a little bit, too. We got to go. Let's go to about coming in at a point one to start. So we'll go to about 35 watts to start it off at, just to get these things glowing nice and even. Gotta say, Duchess, these ain't too bad, bro. Got one tiny little hot spot over here. Nothing major. Nothing a little pinch and pulse can't help. There we go. Oh, one thing I like to do too, if I ever end up strumming my coils, is I end up using the back of my tweezers instead of the actual tips of my tweezers themselves. Because uh, you don't want any of this like ceramic to actually like kind of like chip off or anything like that. So I just use the back of the coil. Not only that, but it just like makes a nice, nice good strum. And most of the time you hit both your coils at once. All right, let's throw a little bit more power at these things. But before we do that, we're going to check our resistance once again because this has definitely gone up. Yep, to a point, point 0.13, which is exactly where it should be. So now we can go ahead and crank this puppy up. Let's give it to about 55 watts. Give it a little pinch and pulse. Shit. I think we're good there, fellas. Uh, ladies and gentlemen I should say because there are some ladies out there but uh, those are glowing pretty nice and even there I'm gonna go ahead and check this resistance one more time and we are good came out to about a 0.14 glowing nice and even super nice and even and with this one we're gonna be throwing in a little bit of some caramel custard from a man will over at Still Valley Vapors. This bottle right here is super, super, super steeped. I'm gonna use some uh, cotton bacon prime. One thing I've uh, started to do is I kind of do like a uh, semi bacon roll technique where I'll just kind of fluff out my wick like uh, my man breeze tones does kind of find where it splits like so and just kind of start like unraveling it just like little bits at a time actually you can go ahead and rip this in half because we're gonna use that other piece for other coils I'm going to fluff this out a little bit more. Continue on down here. And we're going to kind of just roll this back up about there. And that Right there is going to be our three millimeter wick. I think that's about to be perfect there. Oh yeah, this is gonna be super, super tasty, Will, because this shit is crazy steeped, bro. 
crazy steeped. Like, I think I've had this bottle since before. This is one of the ones I had since before I came to uh, your shop. Look in there. Boom. Measure these puppies down. About there. Of course, we can do any more trimming that we may need to do later because we are going to fluff these just the slightest bit. Just fluff them out, you know, just to get them nice and even. Get rid of any of the straggling little fibers in there. I'm not really combing it as much as I am just trying to, you know, kind of fan it out. You know what I mean? And we will take just the little flyaways off there. Do the same thing over here on the other side. Let me know if there's any uh, issues or anything like that as well. Like as far as the stream goes, if audio starts acting up. Or you guys are just getting a you know a close up of the logo or something. If I need to back up, let me know. Let me know. All right. Ow! I just stabbed myself. Jesus, those are sharp. All right, now let's see here. Is that about where I need them to be? Actually, you can cut these tad a bit shorter. I'm literally kind of just eyeballing this right here, guys, to be completely honest with you. It's been a while since I've built this RTA, and hopefully I've got enough wick to fit in these wick ports. So we're going to push that one up out of the way here. Kind of get this all back together, sort of. Just gonna tuck it in. One thing I'll say as well is if uh, you go to wick something and you're pushing your cotton into the port and it starts to feel like there's not enough space, you may have too much cotton like this feels like it may be just a little too much so we're going to go ahead and just give this one more tiny tiny trim yeah, a little too much we're going to pull a little on each side even it out there we're actually just going to use the end of our tweezers here to get this done as well, or the end, end of our scissors, I should say. See, it still feels like there's a little too much going on in here. So we're going to try to actually thin this out just a little bit more, maybe. There we go. Might as well just go around and do them all one more time. Just because just we're here and we know that one had too much. That means these ones are probably going to have too much. That feels better. And hopefully, I'm not taking too much, because that's uh, that could always be a problem. All right, now let's try this again. Oh yeah, it feels way better. Hey guys, I. Re 
You're rewicking it now? Nice, dude. Let me know how it works out for you. This is definitely taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to for this uh, particular install. But like I said, it's been it's been a little while since I've built this RTA. But we're getting her done. Slowly but surely. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Bear with me. I know this is probably... Ridiculous. You guys are probably screaming at me. What are you doing? And I think... think we got it there and one thing I also like to do is I'll take my scissors here and I just kind of make a little little hole like each one of the little wicken ports there nothing crazy because it eventually once you fill this thing up with liquid or juice it up like we're about to do your cotton will of course you know fill up a little bit and kind of swell to fill up that hole as you guys can see this stuff's got a very nice dark amber color because it's super super steep let's see does this have a date on it no it does not curious this thing's probably a year old which is fine you can still vape it you know as long as you store it store it correctly cool dark place you can have juice that lasts could last up to you know two years maybe even more as long as the nicotine doesn't taste peppery or anything like that, it should be good to go. Let's turn this up. About 80, let's go 85 watts. 85 on a 0.14 should be pretty toasty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Duchess. These things are throwing out some vapor, bro. So let's go ahead and uh, screw our tank back on here. Boom. Pop the top and fill her up. Boom. There you go. Cap it. And then we're going to jump up top and vape it. Uh, boom there we go so rebirth built filled up wicked all that good stuff definitely has got a lot of airflow quite a bit of airflow so we're going to adjust that a little bit there we go turn it down about halfway there we go. And uh, let's take it for a Tootski. Man, that caramel custard, man. I have missed you. Jeez, that's tasty, man. Airflow is pretty smooth on this. I do have a little bit of a kind of like a slight hiss but i think that's just my coil placement like i feel like if i maybe pulled them over the airflow just a little bit more probably would have got rid of that but still pretty smooth not turbulent at all man that's pretty damn pretty damn good 
Let's go ahead and I'm going to turn this up a little bit. Let's take this to about 95 watts. It's 4.2 volts. No dry hit. This thing's still vaping. I'm getting some bubbles. I would say the rebirth was a successful build, guys. Flavor is on point. I'm getting bubbles of wicking right now. Duchess, your 27s in here at a point one four ninety five watts. Pretty pretty banging, man. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see here what we got going on in chat over here. Let's see if I missed anything. Me before trying uh, bottle violence, me never being able to be bottle violence. Oh, that sucks, Lando. Bottle violence is the shit, guys. If you guys haven't tried it yet, I highly, highly recommend it. You said the Rebirth RDA was far superior, Pam? Really? I thought the R R RDA was pretty good, but I think this RTA is better, to be honest. But that's just my opinion, you know what I mean? Custard donut, you said, Ruben? That sounds good. Who's it by? Sounds tasty. But anyways, I'm gonna scroll up and see what how many people voted up here. Looks like a couple people were voting for the blotto. We got one, two for the blotto. Any more votes on what the next build should be, whether it should be the trilogy or the blotto? Vote. What do you want to see built next? Trilogy or the Blotto? What do you guys think? That's interesting, Pam. I, I honestly, I, like, I thought the RDA was pretty good as well. Don't get me wrong, but I think the RTA is better, in my opinion. I just. But then again, I wasn't rocking it with like a four millimeter single coil. I, I like it with dual coils. That's just me personally. So we got one vote for the trilogy, another vote for the blotto. So two more votes for the blotto. I think the blotto might be next up and we'll save the big bad boy for last. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. So what we're going to do, we're going to take off our... Uh, Rebirth RTA. We'll find something to put that on here shortly. And we're going to grab our Blato from Davpo. Break this thing down. Take our glass section and all that stuff off. And then uh, we're going to get to building on this thing. Throwing some staggered fuse Clapton's from my man Cloud Cartel. If you guys didn't know, not only does my man Cloud Cartel, but also Duchess Coils and uh, KVTV, who sponsors the Green Room, they do a show called Codename Wired on Sundays, I believe. Um, if you guys are interested in coil building and you know want to learn a little bit more or just kind of hang out with these guys and see the cool you know build challenges that they're doing, go check them out over on uh, is it on Cloud Cartel's channel, Duchess? If you're here, I believe I, th I think so. I may be wrong, but I believe it's on Cloud Cartel's channel. Um. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump down low and build up this blotto. So here we are. Got all my cotton fluffs all over the fucking place. Because I'm messy as hell. Let's see. Is this going to be enough for two and a half? Ooh, that might be perfect. That might be perfect. So with this, I can't remember exactly what the coil length is supposed to be on this either. So we're just going to go ahead and grab coil here and just kind of give it a little bit of a look ski I think about there is where we're gonna go on this one so we're gonna go I'm hoping I'm not cutting these too short we'll find out we're gonna put one in first just to see 
course, you got to have all of the screws undone first. Okay, cool. Thanks, Ern. Yeah, Cloud Cartel channel on Sundays. Check him out for codenamed Wired. Do it in your cool. Also, check out the, you know, Across the Pond podcast as well. Um, that's uh, also with Cloud Cartel and uh, my man Veep and Jedi. One of my patrons. Shout out to Josh. Speaking of podcasts as well, we had a pretty dope podcast this past weekend on Sunday. We had Stoned Capone, um, an artist that signed to uh, one of, another guest that we've had on, DJ Slim, Puff Pass Records label. Uh, we had him on because he just dropped a new, uh, new EP or LP or whatever the fuck they're called. Um, and uh, it's pretty dope, man. Not going to lie. Pretty dope had a chance to you know talk with them all that good stuff i think that's going to be perfect i think that's going to be perfect so let's see if i can cut this one the same i should have measured them together before i installed them but we're just going to eyeball it and hopefully it all works out Boom, get that puppy in there. Across the pond, and he has a weekly bullshit show as well with Jackson. Oh, nice, dude. Cloud Cartel out there doing work, man. Shout out to Ad Sloan, man. That one's too long. We need to cut these just a tad bit shorter. Just a tad bit. Oh, coil went flying. Luckily, I found it. So we need to trim this down just a little more on that one and a tiny, tiny bit. Oh man, why isn't this one to cut that? There we go. Oh no! Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, I dropped my coil. No. Don't worry, I'm gonna find it. Haha, <laughs> I found it. Whew. That was uh that was kinda hectic there for a second. So let's go ahead and try this again. Oh yeah, that was much better. Much, much better. What's going on, Zero Friends? I don't know about the most badass. Um, but I appreciate you, bro. Shout out to the Philippines. Ugh. Oh, thanks for popping in, Chasing Clouds. Hopefully you have a great rest of your day, man. Appreciate you tuning in. Yeah, that was almost a crisis there, Lando. For reals. And those things just fit in there just... Just fucking perfectly. A couple of little adjustments here. And I think we'll be good to go. I think that looks pretty good. What do you say, people? I think that looks pretty damn slick. I think we're ready to rock, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get this turned back down to about, uh, I'd say about 35 watts once again. Not 30, 30 watts will work. We're going to check our resistance. And then we're going to grab our ceramic tweezers and start to pinch and pulse.
starting to get some color. Look at those puppies color up, man. Nice and gold. Right, now we're going to go ahead and check our resistance again. 0.14. And go ahead and turn this up to about 50 watts. It's always good to start low and then work your way up. All right, let's see here. Got a couple little, little, little tiny ones up here at the top. Think we're looking good. I go down here and live read our resistance one more time. 0.15 turn it up to about 75 watts because that's about probably where we vape this at the start and i think we're good to go all right so now with this one we are going to try some blast off from the fountain one of my all-time all-time faves Just a little cool down trick there. And we're gonna go ahead and take our cotton here. Hopefully this is enough for a two and a half. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. Give these a quick little eyeball measurement there. Same over here on this side. Wow. Now we're gonna go ahead. Hell yeah, do the same thing because I'm too impatient to wait for it to. Yeah, dude, sometimes I'm, most of the time, I'll just usually will let it chill because I've got like a YouTube video up that I'm zoned out on or something. But, you know, if I'm in a hurry, just give it a little quick little douse with some liquid. You know what I mean? Especially when we're doing those build offs, man, that comes in handy and shaves off uh, desperate, ne desperately needed time. trying my best to stay in frame for you guys as well this is a little difficult because uh my down low camera is like arm's length away from uh where i am it's kind of hard to reach that looks good yeah it looks good Blow off all the extra little fibers there. Now we're going to grab our tweezers. Boom, those fell in perfectly. That is, I don't think I could whip this any better, you guys. That was just, it was like perfect. Look at that. They just fall right in there. Just look at that. Be 
beautiful wicks beautiful 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 make sure we don't have any cotton hanging outside on those threads there there we go and boom wicked up a lot out what do you guys think yeah you're here for hat cam earn there you go bro hat cam up in the corner for you guys this uh video is not sponsored by twisted messes but uh i do love twisted messes products i should start doing that maybe you know start uh telling people hey man you you want you want your stuff on hat cam sponsor the video That'd be kind of cool. Hat cam promotions. That'd be the name. Shit. I should. I just started my own side business right now, you guys. And you guys are here to witness it. Hat cam promotions. For all your promotional materials. All right. Now we got it all wicked up. Ooh. 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 Those puppies are hissing at me, man. Shoutouts to Cloud Cartel for the angry coils. Whoa. Hello. You guys hear that? Wow. Fuck yeah, hat cam, Grim. Yeah, sorry. I had to switch it up from recoil over to, you know, I had to show Kent some love this week. Um, next week will be Turd. Um, the week after that, I might show some love to Turk. Um... Yeah. I think that might be how it is. Hat fan would be star. Yeah, dude. Hat fan and on hat cam promotions. No, 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 no. Hat fan. Jesus. I haven't thought about that in so long, and now that's going to be stuck in my head. Thank you for that. Now we're going to go ahead and fill her up. Oh, yeah, you guys probably, I don't know if you guys care to see this, but we're filling up the tank all the way to the top because we trust our wicking here in these parts. And we're going to pop our cap on. Boom. And then we're going to go ahead and jump to the uh, up top. And we're going to vape on it. So here we are. Blotto. Uh, staggered Fuse Clapton's. Cloud Cartel UK. Blast off from the fountain. 85 watts, 0.15. Air flows open up all the way. One thing I'll say off the bat is the Blado is a lot more restrictive than I remember. I think this is more restricted than the Type 2, Grim. I think the Type 2 has more airflow than this. Dude, that should have been another RTA I should have done in this stream. Next one, I'll throw the type two in there. One thing that I will say about this build is holy flavor, man. This tastes phenomenal. I don't know if it's these coils or if I just forgot how good the blotto is. But damn, that is tasty, man. That is so good. Is a single coil worth doing in the blotto? Jason, you know what? I have never actually done a, like a single coil in the blotto. I know people that have. Um, and I heard it's okay. I, I would think you probably would have to put like a three and a half millimeter single coil in there just to kind of take up a little bit of that space. But I wouldn't see why it wouldn't be, man. You know, you could rock it at that lower wattage, get a little bit better battery life. You know what I mean? Cut the airflow down a little bit, get a little bit more of a restricted, you know, vape out of it. Shit, I, I might do that in the next stream too. Put a single coil in, in this. Well, I don't know, man. I'm going to vape these coils until they're done because, geez, they're, they're good. Do you guys hear the crackle? Oh my god. It is so good. It is so good. 
That's good. Okay. Okay. Before I just sit here and vape on that for the rest of the stream, let's go ahead and move on to this trilogy RTA. What do you guys say? Should we get into that, that big 30 mil mamma jamma? Let me set these off to the side and then we'll find mods to put these all on uh, after as well. Um, get a little drink here. Man, that's some good stuff. And it pairs so nicely with Blast Off as well. Ah, match made in heaven. All right. So I got to break this uh, trilogy down. Get our, our deck section out here. It's a deck. Dirty mines. Um, but anyways, we're going to screw this down onto the Warlock's Guardian, which it just fits perfectly on. And then we're going to go ahead and switch back to the down low here. Uh, boom. There we go. Let me fix my camera there. There we go. Got the big old Trilogy RTA. 30 millimeters with the smallest span from here to here. Like, it's so tiny, I almost don't think these are going to fit. I almost think that these aren't going to fit. Oh, they're going to fit, but just burly. 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 So what we're going to do here is we're going to get a quick little eyeball measurement. And we're going to go ahead and gonna snip them a little bit longer than I think. Whoa, watch your eyes. And then I'm going to do, uh, I'm actually going to do this this time and actually match them up. That way it's a little bit easier to work with. Why is this being so difficult? Snip that one there. I will tell you what, if you don't have actual wire snips, these uh, these flesh cuts here are not the greatest. There we go. Boom. Pop that one down in there. I think that's going to be perfect, guys, because that leaves me plenty of room to pull them in towards the center. That's one of the things you got to do here on this RTA. Get these snug down so they don't move on me. There we go. That one's snug. That one's snug. And now we're going to go ahead and crank down on them. Make sure they're nice. And tight just like that oh this screwdriver is a little bit too big so we're gonna have to switch back to the small one that's what she said <laughs> all right now let's get that oh yeah Fits in there way better. Get that nice and tight. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take these puppies. We're going to bend them in towards the center. Like that. I think that's going to be pretty good. Boom. So there we go. Some uh, quad core LEs. I think that's what these are from uh, AJ Holland inside the 30 millimeter trilogy. Actually, this coil can go down just. A little bit there we go now we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna turn this back down to about 35 watts or so and we're gonna go down here 
reset our resistance. Ooh, yeah, because this is coming out real, real low. That's also why I have a DNA for these uh, situations where the coils come in at um, 0.05 to start. Which, of course, I always say anytime you're building anything, build it on a regulated mod. Always. One thing I like about this Trilogy deck, even though it's got such a small span for your coils, is you can literally almost get to all ends of your coil, just like on a post list. You know what I mean? That's why I like post list decks so much. Makes it super easy to get your hot spots out. All right. Now we're going to go down here. We're going to check our resistance again because this should have gone up. Yep, went up to a 0 0.07, which it should still go up a little bit more. So we're going to go ahead and turn up our wattage to about 55. Boom. kind of hard to see with all these lights I don't know if even you guys can see Looking pretty good there. Come out to about a 0.85. Maybe it'll go up a little bit more once it cools down a little bit. I'm actually going to unscrew this for a sec. That thing was pretty, pretty hot. Go down here. Yeah, point oh nine is about what it came out to. So let's check this again. Turn our wattage up to about. Uh, we'll go to about eighty five. Make sure we don't have any hot spots. I think you're good to go. Do they make coils big enough for the monster RTA? I have no idea. Well, yeah, dude. Obviously, look. The deck is uh, very uh, deceiving. But anyways, here we go. That's wicked up. It's burning even. Now we're going to go ahead and... Uh, or not wicked up, I should say. It's installed. Give it a little bit of a cool down, just, just a tad bit. And we're going to get ourselves some cotton. I think this should be perfect. All right, now we're going to go ahead and get this wicked up. All you own are postless, huh, Lando? Yeah, that's right, because you got, like, what, the, the pulse? And... What else do you have? 
What other RDAs you rock, bro? All right. Let's see here. One thing that about this trilogy as well is you don't necessarily need super super long wicks you just need to make sure that you have enough to at least just fill that port up give this a little fluff don't really want to thin it just want to kind of fluff it because this has some pretty big wick ports It's just like combing your hair, you know. All right. I think that's going to be perfect so now we're just going to go whoop. perfect Pulse, recurve. Yeah, shit, those all pretty much all post lists. All right, so there we go. Nicely worked up, as you guys can see there. Got all the holes filled. All nice and fluffed up up at the top. Now we're going to go ahead and give this some liquid. The delicious overdrip strawberry custard from testing grounds of course if you go over to his website you see testing grounds and use code shed time i'll save you a little a little bit of some skrill highly recommend the sample pack you get all four flavors at a discounted price Oh yeah, the vapors. Go ahead and pop our top back on here. Boom. And we're filling this puppy all the way up. Make sure you put it into the fill hole and not your chimney. I almost flooded this thing just now. And I trust my wicking, so we're going all the way to the top. Uh. There we go. Pop that on there. And then we're also, so we're just gonna go straight to the dagger. I'm just gonna go from there. If we can get it off. There we go. Oh, lost my drip tip. Boom. There you go. Wow. Look at that. Look, that's a setup right there, man. Trilogy on top of the Warlock's Dagger Dual 18650 Parallel Box. Of course, parallel, so I've got plenty of amps for the build that I've got going on in here so I can stay within those safe realms and all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and jump up top and vape on it and see what we got. And boom. Here we are. Back up top. Trilogy. Got some uh, LE... Uh, AJ Holland coils on this bad boy coming in at about a point oh nine is what they uh, ended up uh, evening out at. Got some strawberry custard from a man overdrip. Turn this airflow down a tad. There we go, and uh, here we go. Ooh. 
Wow. That's cloudy. I might need to turn the airflow back up. Open it all the way up here. I'm getting some gurgling here. What's going on? There we go. Man, that strawberry custard's so good, man. And these, listen to these AJ Holland coils, too. They just yell at you, bro. Say, hey, vape me. So, after everything's said and done here, let's get, let's get these things set up here as well. Of course, all of these <coughs> RTAs <coughs> have a static protruding 510 pin with a peak insulator. So they are hybrid safe. But of course, uh, I don't normally rock tanks on tubes that often. But this just looks too good not to put it on top of it. So we're going to try this out. Oh, yeah. Look at that little blotto on the heavy hitter. That metal AF chop top. Yes, please. That's nice. I will say this builds a little bit a little bit too high. 0.12 probably would have been a little bit better. This one's at a 0.14, so it's a little bit cooler than I would like, but all I all I got really gotta do is turn. Airflow down just a tad. Oh, yeah. There's that. And then we need something for this to go on. So let's see here. Oh, let's, let's do this. We're going to throw you. And then we got the uh, rebirth on the uh, Foxy One. This at uh, 3.7 volts. Ah, we gotta turn that up some. That needs some more. Four point two volts. About seventy, about eighty watts. All right, so I'm just going to sit here for a second, vape on some of these things. Um, and also, uh, before we get into like my final thoughts and stuff uh, over revisiting, let's take one more shed time break. Why not, since we're here? So uh, like my man Sean always says on the green room, it's time to exhale the bullshit and inhale that good shit. It's shed time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your little bit shed time break. I know I did. Always do. Take another little drink here. So, after revisiting these things, one thing I'll say is I kind of forgot how good each one of these were in their own way. You know what I mean? Each one of them does something a little bit differently. It gives me a little bit of a different vape when it comes down to the airflow, just the way it draws to just... The overall flavor experience each one of these has got its own little niche like area that it fits in um, of course the blotto we'll start there is definitely the more restricted 
end of all three of these RTAs that I uh, built today. Of course, they are all dual coils. Um, I do have two and a half millimeters in there as well compared to the threes that I have in both the Trilogy and inside of the uh, Rebirth. Overall, though, I, had a, I gotta say, I think the Blotto is vaping the best so far. But that might be because I'm partial to the liquid that is inside because that blast off inside of there just tastes absolutely delicious, man. So, so good. I just got to hit it one more time. That's pretty good. That is some pretty good stuff. But you know what? I kind of want to put a little bit more power to it. So we're going to go ahead and take this off of the heavy hitter for a second. And we're going to go ahead and put it on top of the gin from Vipresso. And would you look at that? The drip tip still matches. Yeah. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and we're going to take this out of voltage. We're going to put it into wattage. And we're going to turn it up to about... 85 just to try it out and see what we get yeah that's where it's at right there 85 watts those staggered views clapton's though man i'm honestly really surprised on the flavor that is coming off of these things not only that but the crackle, man, you know, I love the crackle. That's why I love my breeze tones coils, my not semi nitro coils, you know, pretty much most of the coil builders you see I me use have some sort of crackle factor to them. Each one a little bit more than the other or uh, vice versa. But man, these staggered fuse Clapton's from Cloud Cartel UK. Shout outs to you ad Sloan because dude, these things are banging, bro. So I'm really enjoying the way that this is vaping overall. Like I said, this is definitely more the restricted um, side of things. Even with it wide open is definitely. Yeah, even with the rebirth halfway closed, I probably have to close this to about three quarters of the way closed. Yeah, about three, like just a quarter of your airflow open is about equal to the blotto wide open on the rebirth now let's see about the trilogy here this wide open yeah definitely a lot more air so we we'll turn it down eh, a little bit more and then of course the trilogy you got to cut it down about halfway to equal the blotto wide open so now we're going to compare the Rebirth and the Trilogy. Wide open on the Rebirth. Big, swooshy, swooshy airflow. Wide open on the Trilogy. Trilogy is definitely a lot quieter and a lot smoother of a uh, airflow. Rebirth has got a little bit of a hiss and definitely got some more noise to it. And I feel like it's got a little bit more airflow wide open. So let me go ahead and tighten the rebirth down just about a quarter of the way. And then about a quarter closed on the rebirth will equal out to about the uh, wide open trilogy there. So as you can see, all three of these are hitting different routes as far as the airflow goes, even when it comes down to the way they feel because with the rebirth having that like kind of big Cylon, you know, wide open, you get a lot more air kind of coming through all at once, nothing really breaking it up or kind of making it a little bit finer of a draw. Um, just right there, right to your coils. You do have a lot, tiny little honeycomb on the actual airflow underneath your coil, but as it comes in, there's nothing there to kind of break it up or anything like that compared to both the Trilogy and the Rebirth, or the Trilogy and the Blotto, I should say, have that kind of like honeycomb sort of on the exterior going on here and then of course the blotto's also got that continued on on the inside compared to the trilogy just being wide open there so this i think having not only the honeycomb on the outside but also the honeycomb sort of situation on the inside adds to the overall restrictiveness of this because obviously with a little bit of a honeycomb on this compared to 
the wide open on this, you get a little bit of restriction just because of that kind of honeycomb action there. Overall though, all of them are vaping pretty damn sick. Loving the flavor experience on the Blotto right now. Um, like I said, I was thinking the Reload 26 is my favorite, but I don't know, man. I'm probably going to be vaping on all four of these throughout the week and kind of comparing and contrasting all these things and seeing how they uh, compare over you know the next week and seeing which one I think comes out on top. And that will maybe be what we talk about uh, uh, on next week's live. And we may do another build. Uh, so we'll see. As far as uh, the show goes this week, make sure you guys check out the Green Room every Friday. Same time, same place. 5 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. Right here on the channel with Sean Typhon, a.k.a. The Angry Hippie. Overdrip, a.k.a. Uncle Chris. And, of course, myself. And we'd love to see all you shed heads out there in chat. But, of course, if you can't catch it live, we'd love to see you guys in the replays. Leave us a comment. Make sure you guys are liking and subscribing. Hit that notification bell. I know YouTube kind of drops the ball on the notifications sometimes. I don't know what it is. It's just YouTube. Um, Chris, I think you might need to just put a little bit more wick in there, bro. I think you're just you're not putting enough if you're having a, that leaking issue. Um, yeah, I would just try putting just a little bit more cotton and trying that out. Don't thin it out super super thin. Like I really I didn't really thin mine out as much as I just kind of made sure that it was kind of like fluffed out to where it wasn't super super compressed. So that might, might try to give that a shot. Try using it just a tad bit more wick and don't really thin it out. Just kind of, you know, tuck it in there. But like I said, if you feel like there's a lot of movement in there, like it's you have way too much play, use a little bit more cotton. But if you feel like it is you're stuffing it, like you have to force it in there, you are using too much. So it's like it's finding that middle ground. You know, it's going to take a little bit of trial and error. But once you get it that one time, man, You'll be good to go and then just continue to do it that same way and you shouldn't have any problems. So uh, let me know, man. Keep me, keep me, uh, keep me uh, updated on that. I want to know how it works out for you. But with that being said, guys, like I said, check out the Green Room on Friday. Go check out the latest Shed Time podcast episode that went up on Monday. Great episode with Stone Capone talking about his newest uh, release of music. If you guys want to check that out, there's links over on the Shed Time Podcast website, shedtimepodcast.com. There's music links there. There's links to all the previous episodes. Make sure you guys are following us on SoundCloud. You can listen to us on any podcasting platform. We're everywhere, but if you guys want to take part in any cool giveaways and stuff that we got going on on the podcast, you have to follow us on SoundCloud. So I just want to make sure to remind you guys that. Other than that, guys, I think it's about that time that we go ahead and wrap things up here. I'm going to send out all of those positive vibes, crisp high fives, and as always, let's just vape on, shedheads.